Hey there, welcome to Authentically Raw. I'm your host, Jamie Darris. You know when you're crying hard, like really sobbing, and all of a sudden you have that, (gasps) and you catch your breath? Does anyone else do that? I'm sure you do. And then you have this big release of an exhale. It's like a quick two, three, or four inhales, and then this big exhale. Do you ever find yourself in the middle of the day, not sobbing, and all of a sudden it's that, (gasps) and an exhale? I do every so often, and I cannot tell you how amazing it feels. And every time it happens to me, I think, that felt so good. But it's one of those things you cannot spur on your own. It reminds me a little bit of a yawn, but sometimes a yawn can be easier to create in yourself or if you look at someone else that's yawning, you'll yawn. Not the case with this. I often find myself holding my breath and I've really been trying to practice deep breathing lately. The hardest part about it is remembering to do it or honestly taking the time to focus on it. One thing that has helped me recently, and I hope this helps you, think of it this way. A balloon that has no air in it is laying on the ground completely deflated, correct? And when you fill that balloon up with air, it's lighter. It floats. Think of your body that way. You're lighter. You're not so deflated. When we fill our lungs and our whole bodies with the oxygen that it's craving, It centers us, it calms us down, helps us to focus. So try it today. Here's my three favorite breathing exercises. No, this one doesn't feel as good as when it just comes on natural, but like I said in the beginning, it's the quick three inhales and then the long exhale. Do that a few times. And then I'm sure everyone's heard of the box breathing where it's like an inhale for four, you hold it for four, you exhale for four, and then you pause for four. And the third one I like to do is just the long, slow, deep breath in, hold it for a little bit, and exhale out through the mouth. When we stop and do this a few times throughout the day, it is so soothing and so productive. One last thing I'll leave you with. This one is called Smell the Candle. And I think it's a Sandra Bullock movie. I didn't see the movie, but my oldest son took my younger son to go see it. And when they were talking about it, I don't know what happened. Maybe a day or two later, I must have been stressed. And my oldest son mentioned, you know, smell that. Do you smell that candle? And I looked at him. I'm like, I don't have a candle burning. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, well, no, don't you smell that? No, I don't smell anything. But I kept breathing in really deep and all of a sudden a smile comes across his face he's like see I just wanted you to breathe deep like calm down and it's been a little bit of a running joke back and forth so just before I hit record I was on the phone with my dear son Alex and I was pretty stressed he said do you smell that And I thought he he had just went through the Starbucks line. (laughs) And so I thought he was talking to someone else. So I just kind of sat there and he said it again. Do you smell that? So finally, I'm like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Do you smell that? So I take a deep breath thinking he's crazy because we're on the phone and all of a sudden it clicked. He was wanting me to take a deep breath and And I always refer the candle and smell the candle or whatever it is. But anyway, do you smell that? Give this gift of deep breathing to yourself. I'm rooting for you. Be real, be raw, be authentic. Thank you so much for being here as we kick off this podcast together. I really appreciate you joining me on this journey because I'm well aware you could be doing or listening to anything right now. Hey, if you enjoy the Authentically Raw content, please support the show by following, rating, and reviewing on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. You can also follow me on social media for daily inspiration. 
head over to my website, jamiebarris.com, to sign up for weekly transformation tips. Or if you're interested in coaching, I currently have three openings for one-on-one coaching. If you're looking for an empowering community, we'd love for you to join us in the Transformation Tribe, our group coaching membership. More info available on my website under the Life Coaching and Membership tabs. One last thing, I'm rooting for you. Be real, be raw, be authentic.